All right, welcome back to the next challenge. This time we're doing a very big sum. Let's get started. So this one will be actually pretty fast because we've sort of already done this before. So if you did a simple array sum, you've noticed that it's pretty much the same thing. We read in the first digit, which says how many numbers we're supposed to add up. And then for the next, well, for in this case, five. So the next five, we sum all of these up and print it out. So the major difference is that the constraints here is that each number can be a lot bigger than before. And it, and it gives you an extra note here about it. So, but let's say we didn't notice it and we just plowed ahead and did it. We might have written something like this. Create a new scanner, read in how many, take in how many numbers we're supposed to read, and then loop over it, keeping track of the sum each time. And as we keep adding up each number and we print it out. So the problem with this, is that it's not going to pass. And the reason is because the integer here in Java, if you just look up, if you just look it up, you can see that the maximum value it can take is 2 to the 31 minus 1. So if we look at each number here, it can be 10 to the power of 10, which is that big, whereas 2 to the power of 31 is only this big. And you can see that this, there's no way that we can fit this value in there. So what we have to do instead is to choose another type. And here we have long, and you can see that long can take in all the way to 2 to the 63 minus 1 for signed integer. So 2 to the 63 oh, is that big, which is substantially bigger than 10 million, and we should be able to use this instead. So in order to do that, first, we have to change our sum. So now our sum can actually add all these numbers up. And the next thing is here, instead of asking our scanner to read the next integer, which in this case will fail because an integer could be, because the number could be a lot bigger than what an integer can store, we have to tell it specifically that we want the next long number. And if we run it now, Hooray, we passed. So that's it. That's it for this challenge. It was just making sure that you know there's different data types. And yeah, sometimes you're in, you can't just use an integer and you have to be careful about the constraints.